All right, I'm going to show a way to modify a hanging leg raise, basically to work on compression strength. And, uh, and so I'm talking about your hip flexor strength here, pulling your thighs in toward your chest. So working the hip flexors and the lower part of your abdomen. Now, the way I've got this set up here, like obviously I'm holding on to the rings, so I'm not going to be hanging with my feet up off the floor. And that's the real modification of this. So I'm going to do this with straight arms and just hang straight down. And from here, I'm not going to lift up from the shoulders. I'm not going to pull my shoulders back. I'm not going to bring my chest forward. I'm just going to hang. And I've got my feet forward basically like I'm sitting on a chair, even though there's nothing underneath my butt. Now, to come into the leg raises here, I'm just going to work this one leg at a time without pulling up from the arms at all. And just bring my right knee in my chest and then come down and then pull my left knee in and come down. And all the lift is from the hip flexors here. Now, it's not that intense when you do it one foot at a time. And if you wanted more of a challenge, you can weight your legs, you put ankle weights on or something like that, and then you'll definitely feel a difference. Or you can pull in and really pull in and just hold for more time and set your foot down. So maybe bring it up and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and come down. And then the other leg, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. And this would be more of a higher, more of a higher rep exercise, probably at least 10 rep repetitions going from one leg to the other. And if you can shoot for something like 20 or 25, your hip flexors are going to burn and you are going to feel that for sure. Now, if you want to do it with both legs, you can start from here, but again, just keep the hang and then pull in. And then set your feet down and pull in and set the feet down. It doesn't look quite as impressive when you lift both legs up at the same time. So you're holding onto that tension to keep things pulled in close. If you want to train it, set the hip flexors are pulled in tighter. I'd recommend doing this one foot at a time and going back and forth. That will carry over once you're working with both legs and doing both legs at the same time is a lot. Because when you pull in, you have to round your low back a little bit to draw the thighs in close and you're hollowing out your front. So um, it's another way to work on this and it's without doing it rapid fire because a lot of times you'll see people uh, hanging from a bar, or hanging from a ring, hanging from rings and they're just going. And you see a lot of that. So basically the whole thing is to bring the knees up or the one knee up for as much time as you can hold that tension and then lower back down with some control. And that's really what's going to build the strength in your hip flexes. So uh, keep it in mind.